There was a, one term that you used in your book, which was around leading with impact. Yes. Tell us about what you mean by that and the importance around that. Well, so obviously there are no leaders without followers, right? And that goes without saying. And especially, frankly, this day and age, you have to think about even if you're running a small team or if you're running a large company, you have to think about not only leading your team, but you're only a tweet away from being exposed, from your leadership being exposed to the entire world, right? And so it's, it's never been more important to be aware of the impact you have on others and to lead for impact. So what do we mean by that? What we mean by that, when we looked up close and personal um, at the CEOs, what we found is that the most effective CEOs lead much like an orchestra conductor. They show up and they're very aware of the audience. They're very aware of the set of stakeholders around them, whether it's the analysts or investors or their employees or the public. And yet the reason they make decisions and the ultimate purpose for which they act is not to please the stakeholders, but it's to advance the business forward so they can serve the stakeholders. Um, one of the CEOs said it best, I think. So Tom Monahan is a former CEO of CEB, Corporate uh, Executive Board. And Tom said, yeah, look, you know, as a CEO, you have to keep all your stakeholders just at the right point of dissatisfaction so they can allow you to run the company but do what's really in the best interest of the company. Because let's face it, if you were to do what the customers want you to do, you'd give away the product for free. If you were to do what your employees want you to do at the extreme, you'd be paying everyone gazillions of dollars. And your shareholders want to pay out dividends, right? And so ultimately, I thought it was really interesting how he positioned it, which is you have to do the right thing by your stakeholders, but to do that, you have to keep them constructively dissatisfied. And so that's what we call leading for impact.